Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron and today is April Fool's Day. So we're back with another fun library for you guys. And this one is called The Ruler. Sound Iron is known for our willingness to take sampling ever farther and to go to any lengths to explore every inch of the sonic world. And this library is no exception to the rule. Er, the ruler. So for this library, we broke out a bunch of rulers and tape measures to create an interesting and fun sonic palette for you to use for all of your composing and musical needs. We got 30 notes with a six inch ruler, 38 notes with a 12 inch ruler, plus a bunch of percussive taps, plucks, rattles, and drops. We also recorded a wide variety of sound effects and percussive articulations with a tape measure for a more modern take on the concept. So in this walkthrough, I'm gonna be taking you through the sounds and the user interface, as well as some custom effects presets that come with the library as well. So stick around and let's check it out. The ruler utilizes our modular user interface, which gives you a lot of flexibility in being able to combine sounds, pan them, crossfade, as well as our advanced tab with some more uh, sound design type features, as well as some ambiences and much more. So uh, let's just go ahead and dive in and check out some of the articulations that come with the ruler. This is some uh, 12 inch percussion. These are the six inch plucks. And like I mentioned earlier, there's also a tape measure that we sampled as well. So let's check that out. All right, so some of the things you can do if you want to utilize more of the features within the library and really take it a little bit further is you can go into mic one and then let's say we want to turn on the arpeggiator and just get a little bit of a, a, a percussive rhythm going. And then let's say we want to really create like a wide stereo spread so we can go into the pan. Let's pan this to the left. Let's go to mic two. We'll pan this to the right and then turn on the arpeggiator as well. So it has almost like a kind of little bit of like a jungle groove or something. And then we can go into the ambiences, turn on an ambience. Uh, let's go ahead and set this to layer B. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave mic one and mic two normal. Learn this to my mod wheel. Let's see what happens. And then if you want, there's also a collection of some sine waves, saw waves, and much more in the substance layer. So if we go into this, you can see there's a big selection of some different things you can layer in. So if you want to add some, uh, you know, a little bit of a sine wave in there. You can do that as well. So this library comes with a bunch of ambiences created straight from the source content. So let's go ahead and play through some of these. These are great for underscore or just adding some more synthy type elements to your tracks.
And you'll notice the higher you go up, the notes get a little bit more busy and a little bit more uh, movement in them. And then the lower you go because it's stretched down, it has a little bit more of a slow revolving sound to it. And then if you want to dive in a little bit further, you can start playing around with the LFO and filtering that comes with the library in the advanced tab. So let's just go ahead, we'll enable the LFO, let's set this to pan, that's a fun thing I like to mess around with. Uh, we'll lock this, set it to that, and then you could play around with the intensity if you want it to be a little bit more faster or slower. And then you can also learn this to your mod wheel as well. So if you want to control it in real time, you can do that. Get a little bit more uh, panning around in the stereo field. And that's just a fun way to create some movement within your tracks. This library also comes with a folder of 20 custom effects presets for you to use that are inspiring and designed to allow you to work quickly and start creating music and get inspired. So let's go ahead and play through some of these now.
All right, so that about wraps it up for this walkthrough of the ruler. If you want to learn more about the library or check out some demos to hear it in action, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Have fun with the library, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.